for Dexter, one of the, the interesting things about the character is the code. Talk a little bit about what that has meant for you as you shape the character and, and how important you think it is to the appeal of the character. Um, I think the code initially is um, a way that we get to know the character. Um, he adheres to its tenets, we get to know what they are, and uh, <clears throat> initially it's a way in. And, uh, you know, if, if Dexter didn't have a code and we're killing people indiscriminately, uh, I think all bets would be off in terms of the audience allowing themselves to identify with him, you know. He kills arguably horrible people and that's a part of why we give him a pass for that. Um, but, <clears throat> so, or even applaud it. And, um, but, but, but after a certain point, I think what, what is interesting is to watch the ways in which Dexter starts to lean against the code or even actively defy it. And uh, so it sort of works as uh, something to establish him, something he defies against, and something that he learns that he needs to return to. Chip, as far as the, the character, sometimes we have a character who goes on a hero's journey. This is a character who, his journey was set for him when he was a child and he underwent all these terrible things. Uh, talk about the, the physics of that. Yeah, I mean, the, the classic hero's journey that Joseph Campbell talked about started with a person living in the ordinary world, and they're sort of plucked out to this extraordinary thing. Dexter starts from an opposite place. He is born, he has his own birth, not into the human condition, but into this weird thing where he's witnessed his mother's death, and it's left him with this profound thing that he kind of has to work through. So he starts as this really classic anti-hero, just totally removed from society, and... and um, the code certainly makes it possible for us to watch this, but the really touching thing about him is that he keeps trying to claw his way back uh, and, uh, and establish human connections, even though that was the furthest thing from his starting place. Michael, you know, I mean, when we first met this character, part of the, the bundle of things that we learned about him was that he was incapable of feeling. It seems now we're seeing him deal with emotions that are breaking through and maybe potentially might explode out. Uh, for you, can you talk about that, what that is like as an actor to have that range to deal with? Um, well, I don't think we were ever meant to um, take Dexter at his word, you know. Um, I think he, um, I don't know, he's been thrust into situations which have, have uh, required him to deal with things that he uh, never anticipated. Um, but even at the beginning when Dexter claims to be without the capacity for authentic human emotion, I think we're meant to be skeptical and we're meant to sort of root for him to discover that maybe that's not entirely true. And I think he's certainly in, in a territory now where he's uh, discovered that. Um, and yet a fundamental disconnect remains. I mean, his ability to justify his behavior to himself is pretty impressive. Um, he, he has uh, grown in terms of his experience uh, of himself in ways that are undeniably human and yet does maintain some sort of internal uh, conception of things that allows him to continue to kill people. Um, otherwise, I mean, really, would anyone watch it? <laughs> so, uh, um, <clears throat> but uh, no, it's, it's, I mean, it's, the character initially, and just the pilot script was so um, so much fun, and uh, there was so much complexity there. But um, I mean, it's it just continues to get richer, and that's a testament to uh, first and foremost the writing. Uh, and um, you know, Chip came on board and 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 took it upon himself to uh, take responsibility for the mess that we'd made and write that uh, first. I mean, you're, it's like Obama stepping in to the uh, White House or something, but um, sort of. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it all comes down to what, what we're given, you know, as actors, and, and the writers on this show have, have been amazing um, in terms of finding ways to continue to challenge us as actors. So. Chip, uh, you know, Dexter put together this family, an unlikely family, uh, and now that's been blown up. Talk about moving forward. Uh, a guy that was looking to f be part of something now finds himself in a, with some solitary responsibilities. Yeah, I mean, it didn't just blow up. He blew it up. So I think in that 
sense it's kind of relatable that you know your own weaknesses kind of come to bear on you and the people around you and that you've melted down everything in a kind of cosmic and profound way he's his son is now possibly in the in the uh, same condition that he found himself when he was young and he's for the first time is really an adult responsible for somebody uh, in the same way that that Harry took charge of him so he's trying to pick up the pieces and at the same time he really just doesn't want to do this anymore he's kind of reached out to humanity and it's really uh, not gone very well <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.